Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I've been working on a couple really cool things on the side. I'm finally ready to share it with you guys. I think you're going to be very, very interested. I think it's going to be good for the channel, good for my subscribers. Everyone is going to be very happy. So number one, I spent the last two, three months building a forum. So I've been wanting to do this for a bit ever since I started the channel, build a forum, tie it together, and that I got done. So the forum is windsolarforum.com, windsolarforum.com. And I'm going to go over the details on that just a second. Let me go over the second bit of news and we'll kind of uh, flip back to the forum. Second piece of news is I am splitting up my channel. So initially, uh, if you go all the way back to 2019, this was a car channel only. I would work on my Mustangs, my F-150s, my RX-8s, my wife's Jeep, a whole bunch of other vehicles. It was a car channel. And over time, over I think it's the last four or five months maybe, it started to migrate into a solar channel. And at the time, I thought, well, maybe I should create a separate channel for this. And of course, I didn't listen to uh, my inner voice. And I just, let's just put it all together. Well, the problem is, is that YouTube gets a little bit confused with that. And it's trying to determine, is my audience automotive or is it solar? So splitting the channel apart. So this channel that you're watching on right now, was relabeled from Mike's Garage to Mike's Solar Garage. And then the new channel is going to be original Mike's Garage. So we're going to take all the original car content, move it over there, and then I have some new car content that I'm going to be adding to it. I'm going to try to balance things the best that I can. Most of my time does go to solar, but I will try to get some car content as well. All right, flipping back to the forum. So the forum is going to be fun. I have been spending so much time putting this together and this isn't necessarily new for me. I've, I've attempted this before, but in a different way. So going back, I believe it was 12 years ago, I built a small search engine. I hosted it myself. Um, it was a blast. I learned a lot. Uh, obviously it wasn't as successful as I would have liked because, well, I, I'd be running uh, that right now, but learned quite a bit um, as far as how to code a site, um, how to market a site, things not to do. So this forum should be cool. So the way that it's set up is it is for both wind and solar. So there are sections on wind, there's sections on solar, there's sections on storage, but there's a lot of how-to guides as well. So there's for if you're a beginner and you're just Getting into solar or wind energy, you just want to, you know, kind of uh, uh, learn as much as you can and maybe uh, uh, dip your toe into it. Great place to go. So it's going to have everything from beginner to advanced. Um, I have guides on NEC. I have guides on permits. I have, you know, a lot of good information in there. But something that I wanted to make sure that I had in there, and this was one of the big things that I wanted to do was to understand my subscribers. And you might say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, a lot of my subscribers will say, hey, I've got a 12,000 XP also, or I picked up some of those Vatcher batteries and they're working well, or I have uh, an eco-worthy battery, or I picked up some other uh, inverter or, or batteries and it's not working well. And I wish I had someone that could you know, maybe help me out uh, to figure out what's wrong. Well, that's what this is for. So I don't just want everyone to post a picture of their system. I mean, that's nice, but I want a picture and I want to, I want to learn about your system. I want to learn about where you came from in your solar journey. What does your system look like now? Where is it going in the future? And you know, what can you teach someone else about it? You know, what did you learn that was good? What would you have done differently? All of that's important because one thing that I've learned about YouTube, it's a community and I want to get to know my subscribers better. I want to get to know not only them, but their systems as well. To me, that's rather important. So 
Uh, I'll have links directly to that page, but also to the forum itself. Other things that I wanted to talk about. So those are both big news, um, but I'm making some other changes as well. As you know, I'm an affiliate for a lot of different uh, companies and I get products in and I do reviews on them and normally I'll get the product, uh, they'll send it for free for a review and I'll do a review. One thing that is very important to me is giving an honest review. I want to make sure that everybody knows when it comes to reviews that um, number one, I'm not a shill, but number two, that you know, I'm not going to say that something's good when it's not. If a product is good, I'll say it's good. If a product needs improvement, I'll say it needs improvement. And, and here's where I'd recommend improving it. Um, but whatever that the product is, if I pay for it or not, it's going to get the same review regardless. Okay. The other thing is I'm going to be purchasing more items on my own. I've got a bunch of uh, products coming that, that, that I picked up uh, that I am going to be testing out. And some of these products, I've never heard of the company before, but I did research. It looked kind of cool and it'd be a neat build. So I have that coming in. Um, I've also, and, and this is important to know, all this equipment that you see behind me, I bought all of it. Um, None of this here was given to me. Those two 12,000 XPs that are run in a shop that you can't see that are on the other side, I bought those, all the lead time batteries, all the Vatra batteries, all the Ecoworthy batteries, all five of the 12,000 XPs. All my solar panels outside. Um, I have well north of 60,000 in my setup right now. I paid for it all. So if I say that I love 12,000 XPs, it's because I bought five of them and I like them. That's why I say that they're good because that's my experience. So if, if I come across a product that I'm not happy with, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say something in a way that is going to damage the company or could potentially get me sued. I will say, you know, the product, it, it, it really should have these updates for safety uh, maybe use a thicker gauge wire here, maybe add a fuse there. Uh, the capacity is not reading what that it's supposed to. I'll mention that. I had solar panels that I recently reviewed that were supposed to be 200 watts, but most I got out of it was 176 angled perfectly. High, uh, it, it was at 130, so just after high noon, and I used Grok to get the angle perfect for my zip code. 176. Then I uh, wet them down with water to cool them off. 181, still not the 200. And I stated that in my video. So just want everybody to know you're always going to get an honest review from me. So check out the forum. Stay tuned for changes to the website. Got a lot of cool builds coming. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. So I just can't wait till some of these products come in. So that's it. Thanks for watching Mike's Solar Garage and Original Mike's Garage.